Welcome back to another episode of the Barely Brothers Podcast. My name is Cisco. My name is Ratu. And, and uh, we're Milk <laughs> Tonic. Milk Tonic. <laughs> milk tonic. <laughs> we're, uh, oh, dude, I came up with a name for us the other day. I, I don't know if you read it in the bio of our Instagram page. We're the Chubby Chinitos, fool. <laughs> hey, fool. Did you hear that the term bears is kind of like in the gay community, fool? Really? Yeah. Somebody I didn't hear it. Me. Who, what was that? We got, we really, your girlfriend's boyfriend is watching. <laughs> <laughs> I put that in for you. I was waiting for you to you give know me. What's the- funny was I didn't. <laughs> I thought it just ended at that. There's no way I skipped that. I was waiting for you to. I only put that in there for you. I was waiting for you to to call me out on it. <laughs> He's a bold man. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> to follow us guys on Instagram at Two Big Bears Official. That's what's up, baby. I'll That's T W O B I G wherever it B-I-G. is. B I G. Sorry. Anyways, <laughs> it's, it, he tags us. Two Big Bears. Chubby Chanitos Chubby and Chinitos. the Dynamic Duo. Absolutely. And if you click more, <laughs> it's in there. your girlfriend's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> As of right now, I only have one girlfriend. Let, I'm just gonna be just gonna clear the air here. It's a joke. I'm engaged. Come on. <laughs> Maybe I love and you. Then, I'm them. probably gonna get my ass whooped later. Them. That's right. Because, you know, she's the abusive type fool. I love that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Domestic violence. <laughs> Domestic violence was a charge fool? <laughs> What's his name? You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Don't, don't knock or something like that. Yeah, 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 bro. Hilarious. Man, just a legend. Oh, she's domestic violence? Domestic violence. Okay, topic. Hot. First topic. Topic. Yeah. When I was a young boy, <laughs> yeah, let me get those studs, man. My father <laughs> took me to the city. Okay. The city. Uh, top five candy bars. I hate these goddamn questions. Top five candy bars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna start it off. If I say one, you can't take it. You say one, I can't take it. Number one, crunch. Crunch is my all time favorite. Really? My all time favorite chocolate bar. Oh, I was thinking of another candy, but we'll talk about that after. Okay, Crunch, I, I give that. Okay, Crunch bar. I don't know what it is. It's the the Rice Krispies, the the creamy like level of sweetness of the chocolate itself. Crunch bar, no matter what form, it, it could be the what do they call it? The clusters. I was gonna say Busters. I was like, that's definitely not it. <laughs> Look here, Buster. <laughs> yeah, the clusters. You know, the little the little bunches. Is it a bunch? I don't know. Whatever it is, <laughs> number one, Crunch Bar. Okay. Take it away. I can't take it away. You said once you name it, I can't take it away. Okay, so what's your number one then? No. Oh, I'll throw a graph there. Oh, graph uh, Reese's. Re- ah, I should have known. Reese's, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. It's something about peanut butter, man. I just, just think. See, I remember I was arguing with you and Dalt about it. You were like, where would you put Reese's on, on like... Like rating, uh-huh. I was like, I don't know, like maybe like a like a four or five. They're like, oh yeah, see that reaction right there. What? I don't know. I think it's maybe because I've had it too much as a child. I'm over it. I actually wonder what I really want to try the new uh, Mr. Beast bars. I heard they were really good. Oh, okay. he's offended. Number two for you. Number Francis- two, Francisco. Francisco, this one you're gonna call me old. <laughs> The Heath Bar. Heath Bar. The is it by Hershey's? Has the It's the same I think it's, no Nestle, isn't it? Maybe. It has the it's the chocolate covered toffee. I don't know. It like it satisfies the the peanut brittle without the nuts. <laughs> um The nut busters. That was honestly a wild card for me. Just, okay. Like I'm I'm not actively reaching for a Heath Bar, but I do enjoy it. If you can't handle the heath, get out of the kitchen. Um, <laughs> yeah, the kitchen. The kitchen. <laughs> I thought mommy kitchen Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, 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 you, did you know that Santa have dentures? <laughs> what? 
Then, uh, and pictures? Dentures. Dentures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He popped them off before he made out with grandma. Uh, ew. <laughs> ew. 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 That's ew. Okay, your number two chocolate bar. Uh, number two, number one coming in, and re, uh, number one come was uh, Reese's. Reese's. Number two would be Marshall Mathers. Eminem. 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 Okay. Eminem. 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 I mean, okay. Oh my god. That isn't a chocolate bar. I guess we'll do chocolate though. Just chocolate candy. Are these candies? It's the top five candy bars. So chocolate bar. But uh. Oh my bad. My bad. My bad. No, no, no. I'll take it back. Bars? Yeah. Bars. Bars. I would go... I'm so glad I Googled it. Because there, there are a ton that I forgot. Yeah, go ahead and Google it on yours, too. <laughs> I'm so glad. I, I'm so glad I Googled it. Because a couple of these, I completely forgot about. What did you What did you type in? Just chocolate bars. In, in image. Google image. Chocolate mint. No, not chocolate mint. Chocolate bars. Not your recently searched. Chocolate big black. Oh. You see, Eminem pops up on chocolate bars. It does. So I'll give it to you. Come give it to me. I'll, I'll give you Eminem's. Break it down. <laughs> um, I think number two, I'm going to play it a little safe. Uh,. It just kind of right there in my soul. Uh, I go with Twix. Damn it! That was gonna that was gonna be on my list. Okay, Twix is solid. Left or right Twix though? Come on, big dog. <laughs> Both. Both. That's hilarious. Nah. Uh, yeah. So Reese's Twix is solid, and then Twix. Dang. You know, back in the day, there was a protein bar company that made protein versions of um, Snickers. Uh, Twix, mm-hmm. and I think there was another one. They were fire, absolutely fire. But there was this was like, like early uh two thousands. Mm-hmm. But all right, if you're gonna go with uh Twix, I'm gonna come in number three. Butterfinger, <sighs> Butterfinger, oh, delicious, <laughs> delicious. Dang it. Did you know Butterfinger is supposed to be peanut? Peanut butter flavor? I never got that. I would figure. I never got that, though. I, I remember just, I was like, I was talking to someone, like, Butterfinger's good. I'm like, but what is it? I was like, you know, that's a good-ass question. I read it. It's like, and it said, like, peanut butter wafer. I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But it doesn't have, it's not as nutty <laughs> as, like, a Reese's Cup. So, number three, Butterfinger. Shoot your shot, Playboy. I would have to go Hershey's. Hershey's? And to be exact, the cookies and cream one. Oh, damn it! The cookies and cream one. Thank oh, the you. cookies and cream Hershey's bar is a legend. That one's a sleeper pick. Why did I not pick that for number two? Put on your pajamas. Why did I pick Heath? Why did I, pick Heath? <laughs> I fucking forgot. I don't eat chocolate that much. Why did I do that? Uh, stupid. Like I said, uh, put your pajamas on. That one's a sleeper pick. Now what? Not even a sleeper. That is just, ah, oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Dang it. Cookies and cream Hershey's bar. Shoot, that might go to number one if I was Honestly, able to rearrange, rearrange damn. it. Honestly, Yeah, we're just, just off the dome. Damn it. All right. Uh, number four, I'm surprised it, it took this long. To get here. Kit Kat. Oh, okay. <laughs> what would you think I was about to say? I, I, I really want Kit Kat to be the last one. Oh, know? really? But uh, Kit Kat, I'm surprised I didn't pick it up earlier. And I'm really mad that you that you got both Twix and the the chocolate, uh, the cookies and cream Hershey's. It's sleepers, bro. Uh, yeah, damn. Man, I haven't. We're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the grocery store after this because I want some now. <laughs> I haven't had chocolate in so long. Just look at it and be like, oh, let me get these. Let me get two of let these. Me get, uh, Kit Kat, solid. You want no? Hold on. What was that question that we asked that we couldn't figure out? That just 
What what makes zero sense? What makes zero sense? Yeah, what makes zero sense? You people that bite the Kit Kat bar and not break them off individually. Is that you? I swear to God. Hey, look, man. Listen, as of recent. Nah. As nah, of recent. There ain't no as of recent nothing. You break them off. You sometimes, break. sometimes they don't. Sometimes some Kit Kats are just already broken. If they broken, eat the eat the one that's broken. That's a that's an inside joke for some people, um, but <laughs> but look, man, this too much things to it's too much. I just that right it's there. not even that difficult. If you if you're an expert Kit Kat, you, you peel you peel off the one side, you break it off inside the wrapper, you take it out, and then you you got Kit Kat in there. I don't know, but it's chocolate. He got chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> you want to know what's actually funny? I have this um, Ghirardelli's Christmas chocolate, and I know it's still good, but because it's not Christmas, I feel like I can't eat it. You better eat that, big dog. You know, I'm about to, I'm about to pop one open. Okay, so uh, what's your pick again? Kit Kat. Kit Kat. That's Kit -Kat. number five. Number four. That was my fourth. I thought fourth was. Uh... No, I had. Um, I had a Crunch, uh Heath Bar, which I regret dearly, um, Butterfinger, yeah. and uh, Kit Kat. So that's your four? Yeah, this is my four. Mm -hmm. that, that what I said? You said fifth. Okay, your number four. Something that I'm very... I'm surprised that it made it this far on top of the Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. Snickers. You know what? You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> and I'm starving <laughs> This chocolate Boy. definitely hit the spot. Boy. Snickers, actually, a fire pick. It's a classic. This is thick ass chocolate. <laughs> Dog, where you at? <laughs> um. Yeah, Snickers. Now, I remember, I don't know if you remember, God, I'm going to dive into this chocolate. Oh, man. I remember a long time ago, there was a Snickers bar that replaced the, um, that replaced the, the peanuts with Rice Krispies. And that shit was fire. Hmm. That shit was fire, too. This is a long ass time ago. My fault. The Bark. Ghirardelli uh, peppermint bark one slept on. Bark. Bark, 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 bark. Okay. What's your five? My fifth. You know, you pick you pick the other two that I wanted. Let's see here. Let me run through the list of available chocolate bars. Oreo made a chocolate bar? Yeah. I saw that, but I was like, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that either. Um. Hmm. Just because I can't think of any, and I do like this one, you can call me old, but uh, hundred grand. I do like a hundred grand. A hundred grand, but the caramel is super thick. It is dense. I remember. <laughs> I remember I had a crown, and I was chewing on it, and I didn't take care of my teeth as a, as a kid, and the crown popped off as I was chewing it. I, Disgusting, but a thousand grand always have a special place in my heart. Hundred grand. I'm sorry, I just want a thousand grand. That's a million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred grand, solid. That'd be my number five, just because I can't think of anything else. Okay, number five for me. Three musketeers. It's a tie between Three Musketeers and Almond Joy. And what? Almond Joy. Nobody likes Almond Joy. I guess I'm nobody. You like Almond Joy? Mm -hmm. Oh, you, do you like coconut? I don't know what it is, but like as of recent, and in this past three years, I think I blame COVID. Coconut's been hitting. Maybe There's, I need to. Maybe I need to re. You know what made me like Discovery. it more was when we went to that dollar, um, that bargain, that bargain market. They had those almond, that toasted almond cookies that I had, that blue bag. And I oh, put, yeah. yeah. Um, those, those is what got me into like the coconut flavors. Really? Mm -hmm. no, the, I, I do remember those. It was fire. 
it's the texture for almond that I really don't like. Which is the coconut. I'm oh, sorry, not almond, coconut. Yeah. yeah. Texture of coconut. Um, but almond flavor, or not almond, god damn it. Coconut flavor. Just got nuts on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> that, that they do keep your mouth full. Co coconut flavor, I do like, but I don't think I've ever had a pleasurable experience eating an almond joy. Which makes sense. It's not for everyone. It's a it's an acquired just taste and just texture. Yeah, for... definitely an acquired taste. But I mean, I've had coconut like um, the weed and the coconut. You know, I like, like the um. Like the the coconut shrimp deep fried, I enjoy that. I enjoy that. Who has that near us? Who has what? Who who's what restaurant serves that near us? It's like a coconut. It's a coconut. It's like a Thai place that does that. I think. Is it Thai? I think so. And you're looking to goddamn going through these bars. <laughs> Last one, enough. Okay. So a tie between almond joy and three musketeers. I can get three musketeers. Yeah, but I I think personally wise, I would I would put almond joy up there. At number five. Yeah, I get that. I don't get that. What the fuck? <laughs> I said it's for me. <laughs> it is for you. It's definitely for you. Not my big. My it would be my top five. You could have had that at number one. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to do the. <laughs> this guy is weird, dude. <laughs> this guy likes almond joy. <laughs> so do you like? Actually. So, Milky Way is similar to Three Musketeers, but with caramel, right? I believe so. Yeah, M Milky Way is the one with the caramel. You prefer the Three Musketeers over it? Yeah. Okay. I, I wouldn't be able to. I know it also because I put Snickers in there, but I don't want like a full caramely. I get you. Just caramel. I get that. Because I think with uh, Three Musketeers... And Milky Way, it's more of a texture thing. Yeah. Like, there isn't any crunch in there. It's all smooth. Um, but, you know, my palate has changed. I've evolved as a man. Uh, and this is literally my first time eating chocolate since who knows how long. That that bag was open when it was given to me. I have not eaten a <laughs> single piece of that, that chocolate. But I forgot how good chocolate is. <laughs> Next topic. Next topic. Hot topic. Uh, struggle meals. I think Ooh. this is something that we are going to be quite versed at. I, don't, I wouldn't say we're experts. Um, I'll let you start it off. What is your first struggle meal? It, it would have to be the go-to top three, and it not even, it's not even two or not even three. It'd be uh, Top Ramen. Top Ramen. Yep. Top Ramen noodles. That's just your, that's your go-to. Let me tell you something. Add we water. Goop, 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 goop. But that mug in the microwave, deet, 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 deet. Mm. I'm so glad you said it that way because you know you're not supposed to microwave it in the cup. Yep, exactly. But we all did it <laughs> anyway. We struggled that We hard. drank from water hoses. We drank from you know, our sinks. That's facts. We, we, we all like doorknobs. I was about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something very similar to that. <laughs> we all ate our own boogers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, you want to know what's weird? Kids, I, I like me personally, you never would have caught me doing this. But, you know, like, kids, we just don't know any better. We don't know, like, some, if something's unsanitary. But Ooh. when dudes be putting their mouth on the water spout in the water fountain. Oh, yeah, that's fucking and, like, they weird. Just be, that's fucking weird. I oh I hate that. At my school, we know who did it. Nah, you in the back of the line, bro. <laughs> and we act the next day. We act like he wasn't the first. He wasn't the last one to drink from it, and it reset. Yeah, like it, it was just Pretty clean. Much. But nah, that's gross. But yeah. Anyways, yeah. Top ramen in the mic. Roll wave. Mm, that's that's a solid pick. You know, I think for me, see a lot of my struggle meals end up with rice. I as, get you. As Asian, I get it. As an as Asian, Asian household, 
You gonna have you gonna have rice. You gonna have rice in the rice. cooker. You might not have meat in the fridge or cooked or anything, but you are gonna have rice in the you, rice. You're cooker. You're gonna have rice, rice in the cooker, and you're gonna have extra rice in the fridge. Yeah, absolutely. So, I think uh, struggle meal number one for me is going to be good old Vienna sausage. You know, I was thinking about that. Vienna sausage. With some rice. With some rice. And if you had a little extra five minutes, some egg. Oh, if you had an egg on that, that's a that's a that's a top tier meal. <laughs> that's a Michelin star dish. That's, that's a <laughs> that's that's bacon right there. See, now here's the thing. Some people might be turned off by this. Would you pour the beef broth over the rice? Yeah. And say, Thank God you were the, it's, like, uh, it's like it just just gives it the juice. Exactly. But Moist, I, I get it. But people are like, yeah, well, why would you dude that's juice from the meat. Yeah. It's not it's not juice from the meat, but, but no, no, but yeah. I mean like it, I, that's yeah. how I saw it. You know? No, yeah, exactly. That's exactly how I saw but it. But I get like that's what it is to preserve it. But like it I'd still yeah. It's not even it's just beef broth. Well there you go. <laughs> juice. Some meat juice. Some meat juice. <laughs> I don't, yeah. don't look at me like nobody wants some meat You know, juice. I haven't had Vienna sausage in so long. I think I had it like maybe a couple months ago when I was up in the hills. But that's oh, really? All, oh, yeah, that's all bright meats is like Vienna sausages. Oh, really? Yeah. That's mad funny. But yeah, Vienna sausage rice, that's top tier right there. That's top tier right there. That's going to be my number one. How about oh, we're doing one and ones. Okay, okay, yep. okay. Number two, going to Vienna sausages, um, will be a hot dog either sliced across or split down the middle. Oh, <laughs> and then just Ooh. just a white, just Wonder Bread, whatever mm-hmm. white bread that was the Sarah Lee two for five. Even though the expiration date was like next week, yeah. this coming Sunday. <laughs> but oh my goodness, yeah, just a sausage with with just sandwich bread. Yep, solid. And if you had ketchup and old you would, mustard, there's always there's always condiments. Yeah, there's always condiments somewhere. There's that relish from last barbecue that was last year. <laughs> With the nice green crust on the nozzle. Oh God! <laughs> and you're just like, let me just, <laughs> let me just <coughs> wipe this because <coughs> I don't want any of that crust <laughs> on my. You want to know it's, it's disgusting, but you want to know it's sad. I think I have a bottle like that in the fridge right now. <laughs> you have quite a few. <laughs> I do. We ate. Uh, we ate Juan Pollo the other night. And I was pouring the the salsa, that big chipotle salsa. Oh yeah, yeah. that, that was had. in there for a minute. And it has that crust around it, but there's like a little, like a little slither of opening that had no sauce on it, no dried up sauce. It was clean, so I just used that. Yeah, just in that area. <laughs> yeah, that area to pour out. And then every time it goes down, it would wash off the crust, uh, the dried crusted up ones. Oh, and oh. it would basically just come on. It would just be on my chicken. Oh, uh, for texture. <laughs> don't say texture. <laughs> Don't fucking say texture. But anyways, um, yeah, man, a good old good old Sara Lee Frank's hot dog, sausage, all beef hot dog, mm-hmm. sliced, and it's not. It, hey, you it, might even throw some cheese on it. It's Just, never a good hot dog. It's always the ninety nine cent store hot dogs. Did you hear ninety nine cent stores closing on another note? Yep. Rest in peace. Yeah, if it don't make sense, don't make dollars. Don't make dollars. Anyways, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that's but a yeah, solid pick. but the ninety nine cent. 12 pack hot dog that would last you for like oh, two weeks. Yeah. Oh, facts. Yeah. Factual. Um, next struggle meal. This is going to be my number two. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is, I got to steal it now. I got to steal it now. Um, this is a little bit more on the extravagant side. If you had a little bit, like, there was a little <laughs> bit left over. If your parents, you know, <laughs> a little bit left over from. From the paycheck, or if your parents were nice, that <laughs> if they had a little bit left over of the paycheck, spam. I had to steal nah, spam. I, fa- I thought that was gonna be your number two, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah did you? Oh, sorry, number one, because your number one was. Uh, I, I, wa- I wanted my first one to be an actual struggle meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, because I don't know how much a can of, of Vienna sausage is now. Back in the day, it was. Like, what I think, was no, I think it was like, depending on where you were. You can get them for like, like four for a dollar. Sometimes, like it was like it came in clutch. Yeah. But spam, spam nowadays. I think it's like five dollars a can. You know, when I was growing up, I would only eat a portion of the can. Really? Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta I share too. with the family. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, I get like wasn't, good. Two, it wasn't three right. Now, if I counted and it was like the cans are in the double digits, I'm tearing that can up by myself. <laughs> you know, 
I could tear I could tear a whole can by myself. But it feels wrong. If it does, it does. It, it feels does. wrong. It does. And I know you eat spam the same way I eat spam. Eggs and rice. Yep. It's it's a go to. I think that's every every Asian household. That's that's gotta be a, a struggle meal. It's a must. Um but I, you know, I would say it was maybe like 2012 when I started seeing the culture behind spam, like how it has like this cult following. Mm -hmm. And then I think I was introduced to spam musubi, uh, I think in 2010 or 2011. Um, so later on, 11, I think it was like 19 or so. And I was like, oh, oh damn. But then I started seeing like how creative it got and then the different flavors of spam, like oh, spam. It's special ham. <laughs> That's what the S stands for. Special. <laughs> All right, so spam and just spam overall. Spam overall is top tier. Goated, absolutely. I had to steal that one. That's fine. Um, but I mean, I make I, I gotta make free. I make a fire breakfast spam sandwich with the with the little spicy mayo situations. Mm -hmm. A little bit of. Scallion, oh, well, not scallion. I'm sorry, chives. Chives, a little bit, hey, little onion bite. Scallions in there too. So a little, oh. give it texture. A nice crunch, over crunch. medium egg. So whites are all the way cooked, but it's still yolky. Oh. The salivation is Why real. You <laughs> Why you close off? Why you hard? <laughs> okay, so what would my number two be? Your number three, because you got um, that was my number two. Uh, your first one was uh, Top Ramen. Second one was the oh, Sara Lee Hot Dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number three would come in at Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee. Wow, that, beef ravi I wasn't expecting that one for me. Beef ravioli. And just, ravioli, ravioli. Give me the ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was if I was starting that night, it'd be two cans. Two. I got two. Cans. <laughs> put that put that plastic cover on. Back in the mic. Boop, boop, boop. Mm. Watch that little saran wrap bubble. Like hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, it would be Chef Boy R D. Chef Boy R D. I got you. Solid that's a solid pick. Honestly, it's better than 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 my number three. I'm actually really ashamed that I did this, but I know we all did. And if you say you didn't, you lying. It's gonna be an American cheese quesadilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. Your... yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An American cheese, <laughs> and it was never, it was never cooked in a pan. No. Nope. It was in the microwave, yep. and it burned, and it was disgusting. But you was hungry. Just soggy. It's so <laughs> bad. It's so From the condensation of just you heating it for so long. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mother. If you microwave American, if you've ever microwaved American cheese, you know that motherfucker. The corner will burn. Yeah. In the first ten seconds, you yeah. got to be careful. You got to watch, unplug yeah. it, let it cool down, mm -hmm. re restart it. Yeah, that. I'm, I'm ashamed that it's on my list, but I had to do it. Had to put it on there. No, no, no that's solid. What you got for number four? Number four comes in all variations, but it's going to be kind of going to what you said. Uh, it'd be just a bologna sandwich. Damn it. That was going to, that was going to, that was about to be bologna sandwich. And you don't, sometimes you'll have money for mayo. Sometimes, sometimes you, don't. you don't. So it'll just be a sometimes dry. Sometimes you'll have it a slice of American cheese. It'll just be a dry salami textured bologna. Just, just. Now, question. I know my boy, my boy Carlos. Our boy Carlos knows about this. You ever fry your bologna? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Fry bologna. That, that would put up, I think I just wouldn't, I, don't, I think if you gave it to me, I wouldn't eat my bologna. You want to right. know how dyslexic I am? <laughs> remember uh, Oscar Mayer bologna? You remember the commercials? My bologna has the first name. It's O S C A R. I thought that as that's how you spelled bologna when I was younger. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like six, five at the time. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought this looked like it was. I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, be honest with you. 
if, if I had a son, he has a spelling bee. <laughs> Ratu Jr. <laughs> Please spell baloney. Knowing my kid, I'm going to make sure he has confidence. He can... I got this, bad boy. <laughs> can you use it? Just kidding. O S C A R M E Y E R. Baby, tell me how you're going to eat the sandwich. <laughs> I, I should have got. Oh god, yeah. I was like, I had just started. <laughs> I had just started school. I don't know how old I was. But I started learning the alphabet and like the different sounds and shit. I was like, that don't smell baloney. <laughs> the moment of realization that I had from that as a child. Oh, I was like, it's just it, it was the same thing with 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 ramen. It said Martian. I, I used to think that was that was ramen too. That was years ago, bro. I'm an idiot. Oh, man. Back in the day, it's hilarious. Man, I'm just opening up deep ass wounds over here. God damn it, that's funny. Okay, sorry, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so bologna, bologna sandwich. That was your number four, right? Number four. I'm running out. I'm running out of one. I know my. I know. I know one more. You got one more. <laughs> it's out of pocket. <laughs> See, you you listed some of mine. Um, it's out of pocket. Um, Not out of pocket, but it's it's actually, controversy. You know, man, what would I? Oh, actually, this is this is. I don't even know it's a struggle meal. As a kid, it was served to me as a dessert. It was white rice, condensed milk, and sugar. I could wow, damn. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's, so, that's not a struggle meal, dog. That was poverty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dog. <laughs> oh shit. Or not 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 condensed milk, evaporated milk. Even it, then, that's worse. <laughs> In the can. Evaporated milk. <laughs> in the can. Evaporated milk compared to condensed milk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But you, there would be two forms of it. It would be rice and condensed milk because condensed milk is already sugary. It's a syrup. And then there's the evaporated milk with sugar. The sugar made it sweet. And it was served to me as a dessert. And I'd eat bowls of that shit. <laughs> I <eat> both <laughs> shit. <laughs> this shit. You know, I, I haven't had it since I was a child, and you know what? Because of this fucking video, I'm gonna try it. I'm calling CPS. <laughs> <laughs> if Cisco gets to be in the kids. <laughs> and I asked him what he had for dessert last time. Right. And he tells me right. <laughs> evaporated milk and as a kid I don't know what the freak evaporated milk is that's that shit milk rice evaporated milk and sugar, and sugar. that's it is that CPS it CPS is coming to your house <laughs> and arresting your family <laughs> Why are, you, you why, like why, are you, why are you eating that? Just <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, so I'm so sorry. That's the shit, bro. I'm so sorry. Oh my oh god, my I'm god. sweating from that. I'm sweating from that. You are. <laughs> I hate so you don't funny. you're making me feel so, so self-conscious about it because I was like that shit was good I understand <laughs> but in retrospect looking from the outside in it does sound really bad <laughs> I'm gonna ask my mom about that why you feed me this as a child yeah I'm so sorry <laughs> You won. I don't this, need to listen to anything else. <laughs> My last one. My last one was going to be just milk and water because they had no more no. cereal. <laughs> But Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. God my, my lungs. At least my cereal costed more than $2. Oh, <laughs> oh that hurt. Holy cow. Oh, oh shit. All right. We're going to. Yeah, we're going to end it that. We'll, we'll, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go call my mother and figure out what the hell she did to me as a child, Ratu. I guess I'll thank my mom. <laughs> <laughs>
for never feeding us. Christ. <laughs> 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 you want to know what? You want to know what? I don't even think that's a Filipino thing. I think that's just my family thing. <laughs> I said poverty. I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not one to joke. But Indonesia is a third world country too. So is the Philippines. Yeah, no, absolutely. But not. I didn't call it out on the country or race. That's just straight poverty. <laughs> That's just poor. You just, you're not struggling. You surviving. <laughs> oh shit! All right, guys, that'll be the end of this episode. We gotta get going. Thank you for watching. What are your favorite struggle meals? Let us know in the comments below, and let us know what your top five chocolate bars are. We'll do other candies later on. Hey, mom. <laughs> Thank you for everything. You ain't ever had rice, evaporated milk, and sugar. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. My name is Cisco. <laughs> and I'm not in poverty. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. Peace, y'all. Oh, shit. <laughs>